In a previous video, we saw how the casing stone was moved from a barge and is now positioned just above its final resting place. In this video, we will see the rest of the process of setting in place a casing stone of the Great Pyramid. An extremely strong bonding agent is applied to the adjoining casing stones, which provided a watertight seal. Then, water is allowed to enter the barge, which lowers the barge and casing stone down onto the bonding agent. The ropes and shims are removed from the casing stone. Additional water is allowed to enter the barge, which lowers the barge completely from the casing stone. Then the barge is moved out of the way and water is siphoned out of the barge. The casing stone settles down on the bonding agent. The following animation depicts these processes. The casing stone is positioned just above its final resting place. The extremely strong bonding agent is applied. Water enters the barge, which causes the casing stone to lower down onto the bonding agent. The ropes and shims are removed. Additional water enters the barge and it lowers away from the casing stone. The barge is moved out of the way and water is quickly siphoned out of the barge. The casing stone is resting on the bonding agent. The casing stone is almost in its final resting place. It still must be quickly moved against the casing stone it is beside and also needs to be moved so that it is in alignment with the rest of the casing stones. The casing stone is not quite at its final resting place. It must be moved in two directions. At this point in the process, a very specialized barge was used to position the casing stone to its final resting place. Unlike other barges, this barge is allowed to be flooded, so the bottom of the barge rests on the bottom of the pond. The purpose of this barge is to provide a sturdy fulcrum for two levers. These two levers move the casing stone in the two directions necessary to position a casing stone. This barge has two auxiliary barges which are attached to the main barge with hinges. When the auxiliary barges are allowed to fill with water, they pivot. This pivoting action with linkages exerts a tremendous force on the casing stone, positioning the casing stone to its final exact location. A specialized barge built to position the casing stone is moved in place. The following animation shows details of this unusual and specialized barge. This barge has two additional barges attached to it using hinges. This barge provides a pivot point or fulcrum for two levers. The following animation shows the fast and fascinating process that a casing stone was pushed tightly up against the stone it is next to and set in place in the exact position that it needed to be. Water enters the positioning barge and that barge lowers until it is resting on the bottom of the pond.
Then water is allowed to enter one of the auxiliary barges which pivots on the hinge. The powerful force of this barge pivoting causes one of the levers to move, exerting tremendous force on the casing stone which positions the casing stone in one direction. Water is allowed to enter the other auxiliary barge, which ultimately moves the casing stone in the other direction. This process causes the casing stone to be positioned into its final resting place. The casing stone is pushed so tight up against the casing stone next to it that the bonding agent oozes out. The excess bonding agent that oozed out from the joint was quickly removed and reused when the next casing stone was set in place. The bonding agent which squeezed out of the joint is reused when the next casing stone is set in place. At this point in the process, water is siphoned from the specialized positioning barge, which is then moved out of the way. By this time, another casing stone has already been attached to a barge using shims and ropes. The next casing stone and barge are moved into position, and the process will repeat itself. The positioning barge has done its task. Water is siphoned out of all the barges, and the positioning barge is moved out of the way. Then another casing stone is moved into position ready to be set in its final resting place. The following animation shows a very simplified depiction of what somebody standing on the Giza Plateau would see as they watch the construction process. This is the systematic method that the casing stones were set in place. When the Great Pyramid was built, the casing stones were set in place almost as fast as the depiction you are watching. This process is certainly faster than any method proposed by the science of Egyptology. That science is yet to lift a 16-ton payload one inch. The systematic process continues with production line efficiencies. Removing the ropes and shims and applying the bonding agent is not depicted for uh, simplicity. This type of rapid and powerful stone moving techniques cannot be accomplished using back muscles. The construction process required many barges to move up the water locks. These barges were quickly emptied as depicted in the previous videos. How are these empty barges moved from the pond and ultimately back to the quarries so that these barges can be used again to bring additional stones? Please watch the following video because I think you'll be surprised by the answer.